Wire.com just donated $42,000 to the Freedom Convoy. Actually, it was $42,069. $42,069. Important numerology. Okay? Wire.com is owned by Elon Musk. Wire.com now redirects to the Wikipedia page of Justin Trudeau. Now, to verify that, click on that, and boom. Now, here is a screenshot of the donation of www.liar.com, 42,069. Elon Musk, thanks everyone. Still can't believe I was born 69 days after 420. Due to inflation, 420 has gone up by 69. Our next story comes from Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau continues to make headlines and for all the wrong reasons. Justin Trudeau's recent move to clamp down and censor podcasts. Stifling freedom of speech. That's the charge against Justin Trudeau, that he's crushing free speech. Elon Musk going after Justin Trudeau yet again. Everything is on free speech. Tech billionaire Elon Musk has yet again weighed in on Canadian politics after finding one of Justin Trudeau's bills quite confusing. And the trigger is a new law in Canada. It targets podcasts. It says all online streaming services that offer podcasts must formally register with the government. What Trudeau has done is effectively trying to bring in a lot of these tech companies under uh, strict uh, regulatory control. Canada's broadcast watchdog announced that podcasts and streaming services must register with the government for regulatory control. For the last few months, the Trudeau government has continually been criticised for an online harms bill introduced that is designed to protect users from hate speech, but instead has been described as Orwellian. Prime Minister is trying to silence free speech. Musk said Trudeau is trying to crush free speech in Canada. Shameful. Elon Musk saw a tweet describing Canada's newly introduced law called the Online Harms Bill as giving the police power to arrest anyone who has committed hate speech violations. He wrote, this sounds insane if accurate, asking his own ex-community notes to fact check. The proposed law, Bill C-63, has provisions to jail Canadians for certain speech crimes. Anyone who advocates for genocide can face life imprisonment, the same penalty as murder. You can even be prosecuted for things that you haven't said. A judge can impose fines and even issue a house arrest warrant if they believe that there are grounds to suspect that someone will commit an offence. Elon Musk's public weigh-in on the matter prompted a reply from Jordan Peterson, who wrote, Mr Musk, it's much, much worse than you have been informed. Plans to shackle Canadians electronically if accusers fear a hate crime might be committed. It's the most Orwellian piece of legislation ever promoted in the West. Elon Musk put tens of billions of his own dollars on the table on the concept of freedom of speech. But he... He was a hero to the left because of his electric vehicles. And then all he did was come out in favor of the concept of freedom of speech. And that turned him into enemy number one. And while Justin Trudeau's government has continuously been criticized for its left-wing politics, podcaster Derek Hunter thinks liberals are just trying to outdumb each other at this stage. So in Canada, they, they, the totalitarian desires of the progressive left remain strong. They're trying to do the exact same thing to retroactively, except do it. I guess the unique thing about Canada is they're trying to make it retroactive to go after posts in the past. And who doesn't want to be held to account for things that they put online in junior high? Am I right? Of course I do. And with Canada's next federal election taking place in October 2025, the Trudeau government will try and beat the odds against them by securing another term. Here was his tweet. He said Trudeau is trying to crush free speech in Canada. Shameful. This has actually had over 23 million views already. The tech billionaire has mocked Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau over Google's AI debacle. 
Somebody created a Trudeau account called Justin Trudeau's Ego tweets, there's nothing my government loves more than overregulation. That's why we've decided to regulate podcasts to control what Canadian citizens hear and think. I've committed to making Canada more like North Korea, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. He tweets again, podcasts are a far-right threat to our democracy. That's why I'm using Bill C-11 to force all all podcasters, YouTubers, and Spaces hosts to register with the government. And if any of them speak out against my narrative, they'll be charged with terrorism. Elon Musk has sort of slammed the Justin Trudeau's government in Canada for crushing free speech. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau hit out at the change, arguing it was inaccurate because the CBC is, quote, only 70% government funded, supplying 30% of their funding from other revenue sources. Elon Musk responded to the complaint with just trying to be accurate. Would they be okay if we said 70% government funded? In response on Twitter, users said 69% give them the benefit of the doubt. Musk replied, good point. Generosity is always the right move. 69% it is. Probably that's more joking from him. The CBC now has the 69% government funded label. Justin Trudeau, a man who considers himself to be a sort of paragon of Western democracy and freedom. Uh, he can't take criticism and he doesn't seem to accept the concept of peaceful demonstration. This man has completely lost it. Yeah doesn't know how to govern anymore and can only govern by insults, brutality and... Just seems to me to be a, a leader, a left-wing leader, who's been drunk with power and, uh, like all left-wing leaders, he doesn't think that anybody should uh, protest about the state. Uh, and I think he's going insane. I think it was visible in uh, the parliamentary speeches. Elon Musk now accuses Justin Trudeau's government of crushing free speech there in Canada. A photo of Adolf Hitler saying, stop comparing me to Justin Trudeau, I had a budget. Now, Musk posted a collage of photos of Trudeau with the caption, can't believe Gemini made these unfair pics of Trudeau. The joke being there that these photos of Trudeau were actually real. He has done blackface and he's worn a traditional Indian hat before, among other cultural insensitivities. Canada's leader ridiculed for cultural appropriation in the past. And Elon Musk has criticised Justin Trudeau before. It's happening over in Canada. It's also happening uh, in the US, it's happening in the UK with the Digital Markets and Competitions Authority Bill. Effectively, governments trying to control these tech companies and regulate them even further, and in a way in which that can effectively stifle freedom of expression on these platforms. <laughs> the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation has announced a break from Twitter after Musk added the government-funded label to the platform's account. The CBC said, our journalism is impartial and independent, to suggest otherwise is untrue. That's why we are pausing our activities on Twitter. And this time he has made the Canadians upset. Hard to do. <laughs> I do think it's a little bizarre for CBC to take issue with being labeled as government funded when they're overwhelmingly yeah. government funded. Yeah. So you get the joke there. Hitler's better than Trudeau because he had more limitations on his power. So that was what Elon Musk posted.